headline of today's episode. Beach cheese. Smack me around with this cheese, man. This is fire. Beach cheese. Bem-vindo. Huh? Is it Italiano? It is Portuguese. Oh. We are headed to South America today to try some delicious street food from the fifth biggest country in the world, Brazil. Brazil? Ooh, yeah. yeah. You, are so, you, you knew it. The basis of Brazilian food is a mix of the nation's herbs and roots from indigenous people, a love of deep frying and egg-based desserts from the Portuguese, and stews and vegetables brought over by the Africans. There are many contributions from cultures around the world that influence the distinct flavors of the five regions of Brazil. Mm, we're about to be cultured today. I'm just excited for it to not be bad on this channel. <laughs> this is ethnic food of Brazilian native. It's called beiju. 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 Mm. I don't even know exactly what it is, but it sounds like it would be good. So is it just a tortilla rolled up in flour? Like a tortilla, but made of rice. Yeah, that's what... yeah. the texture, I don't know. I don't think I've ever had something like that. Oh, oh whoa. 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 whoa, whoa. Okay, this looks great. Beijo de tapioca. Or tapioca crepes have an interesting texture and they can be stuffed with anything from sweet to savory like fresh fruits or jerk chicken. This looks nothing like a tortilla. We were completely wrong. I'm excited. That's really good, actually. I can see this being really good stuffed with so many different things because it's so neutral. Mm -hmm. So the French crepes are a little sweeter. Yeah. It's like their version of a crepe. If I were to compare this to a regular crepe, I would say the biggest difference is texture. Other than that, it feels spiritually similar. I feel like it's more of a texture than it is a taste. It's like mochi, but like not as mm. stretchy. So uh, it's like airy. It's almost like memory foam, but like edible. And I mean this in the best way possible. It's almost like edible styrofoam. It's like chalky. Yeah. It has like a powderiness to it. Mm hmm. Flowery. It, it's like flour. Yeah. It's like yeah. flour. It's like you're eating flour with the fruit. Fruit. It's, it's great. I've never had something so unique and different. Yeah. It is a texture that I will say that I've never had before. Mmm. If I was in Brazil, I'd get one of these. I've never had anything like this before. So this is already off to a good start. So this is my favorite snack in all of Brazil. It's called Pongi Cheese. Ooh. <laughs> Yes. Okay, I I'm already love this. it. I'm all about cheese. I'm all about bread. Ooh, that looks good. Wait. Shut the front Ooh. door. Sounds so good. Ooh. Just a dollar fifty. I'm going to Brazil. <gasps> yes. Oh my god. <gasps> Shut up. This looks yes. so good. Known as Brazilian cheese bread, bom de queijo is crunchy on the outside, gooey on the inside, and commonly eaten for breakfast. I want to eat this for breakfast. I feel like uh, as a kid, I would have gotten yelled at for eating this for breakfast. <laughs> this is the middle. Okay. Oh, it smells like cheese. It smells so good. Oh yeah. I immediately I need this. I can eat like fifty of them. That is good. It's good. You can't go wrong with bread and cheese. It smells very cheesy. Ooh, they're so pillowy. I've had this before, and like, I'm like Kirby. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, that was the nastiest sound I've ever made. <laughs> That's okay. It's really cheesy. Yeah. And I feel like it's the way that it melts into the dough itself that mm -hmm. gives you that gooey Even inside. Like, yeah. Yeah, really good. It's so airy on the inside. And then also the mm -hmm. way it just like crisps on the outside. The crisp on the outside, yeah. This is what heaven is. Yeah. Um, best thing ever invented. I would like to just walk into a store and then get a bag of 10 of these. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like a dollar fifty? That's more than I, I buy like a five dollar thing or coffee. And I regret that every day. Brazil just knows how to do it. Cheese and bread, they nailed it the best. Melhor bolinho de bacalhau do mundo. Eu comecei cozinhando. What is that? That looks good. Is that fish? Hell yeah. It looks like fish, but also with potatoes. Is that potatoes? Hell yeah. Like fish potato pancakes. Yeah. Fried, breaded fish, I think. With oh, like yeah. shredded potatoes, maybe. Brazil, I'm loving you so <laughs> much right now. Ooh. Ooh. Bolinhos de bacalhau. Or codfish croquettes are stuffed with mashed potatoes, onions, eggs, and parsley, making for a perfect meal on the go. Mm. These so are a traditionally Portuguese recipe, but are also very deeply rooted in Brazil. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good. I love fish. I love potatoes. And I like anything fried. Fresh? Mm -hmm. or, like, and so, like, light tasting. It's very potato y. Mm -hmm. More potato. It's like latkes with more. They got their That's finger good. foods, like, on deck. Right, like, yeah, exactly. This is exactly. the first time I've ever seen this. It's like a fish fillet 
to go. Yeah. With a hash brown. I feel like I don't typically eat fish in this form. I usually not don't have it like um. You, you of... don't eat fish in ball form? No. What are you talking about? I, I eat fish in ball form I, every night. I only, okay. <laughs> they have like the snacks ready. Like, I love you, Brazil. How cute. What is it? Are those popsicles? Something on a stick. What is oh, that? Oh, is that grilled pineapple? That does look delicious though. I love it. I thought it was like an ice cream at first. I love anything on a stick. <laughs> what is that? Why is that so funny? Ooh, these are so cute. That looks good. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. See this? It's squishy. I don't know. It's like a flattened kebab. It looks like literal just cheese. fried cheese. Oh my God, I love Brazil and their cheese. What is Dude, it? it's literal cheese. Is this cheese? This is just a block it's of just cheese. cheese. It's just cheese. It's like a mozzarella stick without the breading. Produced in Northern Brazil, queijo coalho is a firm but lightweight cheese that's cooked over a charcoal grill and often served with a sprinkle of garlic or oregano. And it's a favorite on Brazilian beaches. Mm. Mm. Okay, imagine Smart. eating this on a beach. Yeah. Just chilling. When you think of things that people eat like on, on or near a beach, you think of like, Hot dogs or Watermelon. hamburgers or yeah, like, but just like straight up cheese. That's new. That's <laughs> I love this. Yeah, no, this is bomb. It's really good. I like. I would eat this. Smack me around with this cheese, man. This is fire. I love Brazil with their cheese. Their love for cheese, man. I like the chard. The charredness gives it like a smokiness to it. And with garlic, oh my god. Kick back with this and just sit under my umbrella and go. We've taken grilled cheese to a whole new level. I just imagine just hanging out in your, you know, in a bikini or your swimsuit. Mm -hmm. I would love to be sitting in a Soaking bikini up eating the this. the sun, mm -hmm. you know? I am lactose intolerant, oh my but God. I will do it for the cheese. Okay, I'm gonna fill that back up. Ooh. Those beans? Beans? Beans. I'm seeing beans. That looks good. No. Beans? Some okay. beans? Oh, that looks fire. Stew. I don't know what's in that, but it just looks like a warm hug. Some type of meat. Yeah. With beans. That looks stewed all the Ooh, way like down. A stew, huh? <gasps> Shut up. Oh, we got it. Ooh. It's like a stew. Feijoada is the national dish of Brazil. It's a black bean stew that is brewed with a variety of salted and smoked pork and beef. <laughs> with rice. Hell oh yes. Oh my god. Bean stew. Oh, it's come got, on. It's got, it's got good seasoning in it. It's kind of like smells salty in a good way. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Hell to the mother effing yes. Wow. That's what we're doing. This is so, this is so good. That is so good. This tastes so good. Whoa. <laughs> I like this, but it's it's salty for sure. You have to like want something really like kind of savory. I just feel like this is like, the perfect stew. Wow, why don't they serve this in like America? Yeah, like, no, right? So known as the national dish of Brazil, the beginnings of feijoada stem from slavery. Wow, the, this is the national dish. Where slaves put together le scraps of leftover beans and meat from their owners to create a stew. Wow. I hate to say it, but I swear to God, some of the best foods just come out of the worst situations. So good came from something so horrible. Yeah. Really good. I honestly, yeah, bring on these bad dreams. This is man. my Let's favorite dish so far. I think this is my favorite so far out of all the dishes. Is this more cheese? Ooh. Is this more cheese? Is that cheese? Or is it banana? Wait, no, that or looks that like plantains. Oh, is that bananas? Cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. 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 This looks sweet. I want it to be sweet. Oh, and then they cut it in a bar, so it's like a... I got no clue what just happened, but I'm ready. Like a cheese french fry. Oh my god, they're like little french fries. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> Wait, what is this? This looks know. good. Manjaca frita. Are a fried cassava root, made crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. I would I would compare it to the French uh, to a French fries and like crispy on the outside, kind of fluffy on the inside yeah. type of situation. Slightly different. It's nuttier. It's just a, a thicker potato. It's just kind of like a chewier potato. But I love potatoes. Definitely thicker than a French fry. I think this is my favorite so far. It has like a cracker taste to it to me, like a gourmet cracker. A little bit, yeah. Fiery hot take. I like this better than sweet potato fries. It is good. It's good. All right, you ready for dessert? Yeah. Yes! Dessert. Finally! <laughs> Dessert's where it's at. Chocolate. Oh. It's Brazilian chocolate. Oh, it's yummy. Chocolate balls. Chocolate balls. They look so fun to make. <laughs> like, right? Yeah. <laughs> like little balls. I just wanna, like, this is like weird visual ASMR. Chocolate balls. Oh my God. I like my balls chocolatey. 
Dessert! Cute! Mm. So finally, let's sweeten things up with Brigadeiro. A traditional Brazilian truffle consisting of condensed milk, cocoa powder, butter, and chocolate sprinkles. Surprise. <laughs> Ooh, it's smishy! Mmm. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. That's very chocolatey. Whoa. That is good. That's fire. That is so rich. Oh man. That is decadent. It's rich. We we need we need to go to Brazil immediately. That's a lot of chocolate. <laughs> are, are you are you happy about it or unhappy? I can't tell by your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's an explosion of chocolate. Yeah. I'm gonna just out myself and be gross, but like sometimes I'll just eat chocolate frosting with a spoon and like that this is like a, a non-disgusting way to do that. It's also really simple. Of all of the things that we've had, that was the most like Intense. Is, the, yeah, this is the strongest flavor. Yeah. Kind of like the texture of a Tootsie Roll you left in your shorts. That sounds So nice. then it gets all like melty. <laughs> For anybody who loves chocolate, I'll tell you right now, this is yeah. going to be the love of their life. If you love chocolate, you'll love this. I think it's better than the Ferrero Rocher. No, I agree. I no, dude, I agree. They're great though, honestly. Like it's it's delicious. Well, that does it for today. Any final thoughts? Yeah. I want more of Brazil now. Like I need to go to Brazil. I want to hang out with the locals. Like eat some cheese on the beach. <laughs> the headline of today's episode: <laughs> Beach cheese. Beach cheese. Beach cheese. Let's bring the beach cheese here. Let's start doing right. that here. Yes. I want to make some people look at me weird. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this trip to Brazil as much as we did. We know we missed a lot of good food, so let us know in the comments what else we should try. As always, please be sure to like and subscribe to People vs. Food. Muito amor de os brasileiros. Woo! Bye! Peace. Bye! Bye, guys. Ciao! Prazer!